Typical digital maps we use every day are based on a model that represents the Earth as flat. A University of Calgary computer science professor set out to change that 15 years ago. Now he's being recognized nationally for creating a 3D digital mapping system. Kevin Fleming reports. He's created a way to digitally map the Earth based on its curved surface, called a discrete global grid system. And Faramar Samawarti says other digital mapping systems are based on a flat Earth that distorts the image and the data. For example, uh, Greenland in the map looks much bigger than Brazil, but in reality, they are, uh, it is smaller. When we take this on, on the curved Earth, we can see the right kind of uh, size of the Greenland versus Brazil, and we can avoid this kind of distortions. His new grid system is like a quilt over the earth, and it was noticed by MyTax, where he was awarded its Innovation Award for Outstanding Research Leadership. The new system gathers a vast amount of data, and the team has to find a way to make it quickly accessible or run the risk of it never being used. Lake and Wecker's task was to shave nanoseconds off that process, and one second equals one billion nanoseconds. And although that seems like a pointless endeavor for most people, the size of data that the Earth is, or that humanity is producing about the Earth is so large that we have billions and trillions of records, and suddenly that becomes super relevant because if you save that extra few nanoseconds per record and you do it 300 billion times, now it's actually a realistic savings. Sam Awarti has partnered with Big Geo, a Calgary-based startup with the goal of making geospatial intelligence accessible to everyone. Brent Lane says the speed of the system means it's more economical for clients to solve a problem because less electricity will be used. The, the interesting part about working with spatial information is it's for everybody. You know, it's a cross-cutting data attribute, so it works across all industries, energy, mining, manufacturing, right down to consumer product goods. Sam Awarti's goal is to one day produce a digital twin of the Earth to better understand what's happening on the planet. Kevin Fleming, CTV News, Calgary.